Many of the scenes in Israel are shocking and terrifying. But if you understand the overall geography of today's events, you get a sense of how cataclysmic this already is for Israelis, Palestinians, but the wider region too. Now, in the early hours of the morning, sirens warning of rockets went off in southern Israel, in the areas surrounding Gaza and Tel Aviv. This video is from Jerusalem. You can hear the sirens ringing out through the city. And this is why. See the rockets fired through the dawn sky. Hamas claimed they'd fired 5,000, but the Israel Defence Forces, the IDF, said it was more like half that number. Now, the rockets were one thing, but what followed was more extraordinary, unprecedented, really. Hamas militants gathered on the border, on the security border, and they attacked the bases along it, here in Nahal Oz and here in Karim Shalom. They crossed over the border into Israel itself, with groups seen travelling over on motorbike. And they went even further, advancing into Israel and taking settlements. Verified footage shows the progress Hamas made on foot. They got to Sterot, deep inside Israel's interior. And this is the scene they left behind at a bus stop. Gruesome scenes indeed. But it came from the air too. This is just over the border and it shows a drone attack on an Israeli tank. As we've seen in Ukraine, explosives dropped from drones have become a key part of this assault too. And Hamas have also taken hostages, again in violation of international humanitarian law. This sign says, welcome to the coordination office. It's a department in the Israeli Ministry of Defense. And we can't say whether the people being held in that video are Israeli soldiers or military. They could also be civil servants. And the IDF has confirmed that civilians and soldiers are being held as hostages in Gaza. The fear is first for their safety, but also that whatever happens in this conflict, it could lead to a prolonged hostage crisis in the days, weeks, even months ahead. Now, meanwhile, Israel's emergency services, MDA, issued an urgent appeal for blood donations at hospitals in Tel Aviv, Jerusalem and Haifa. There have been official confirmation of scores of death, but individual hospitals are issuing information suggesting the number could be far higher. And in response to the attacks, the IDF said it was launching a large-scale operation called Swords of Iron. It offered no detail as to what the operation involved, but we know the Israeli Air Force has been carrying out strikes in the Gaza Strip already this morning. They are still engaged in fighting within Israeli territory. On Saturday afternoon, they said, in 22 different places. The Israeli Prime Minister has said that the first objective is to clear out the hostile forces that infiltrated our territory. That's recognition of this extraordinary situation, one where Israel finds itself under occupation by Hamas and its citizens held hostage in Gaza.